Just go the distance on Cinco de Mayo. You ain't winning that fight unless you danced around Canelo and made him look stupid and got a sombrero out middle of the fight. You ain't beating Canelo on Cinco de Mayo. No chance, no way, no how. Billy Joe Saunders, Canelo, fight is still on for this weekend. Now, if you haven't heard, this fight was actually off. Now, Billy Joe Saunders had a really big issue with the ring size. Canelo picked a smaller ring. Billy Joe Saunders wanted a larger ring. And it's mainly been done because Billy Joe Saunders isn't able to move around the ring as easy. He's the type of fighter that uses the ring well. And Canelo wanting a smaller ring means he's got less opportunity to do that. Now, I argued in that video that Billy Joe Saunders is potentially losing a massive opportunity here to be that top dog, to be that number one guy. He's not really had the big names, them superstars, to really test what Billy Joe Saunders is all about. We saw him against Chris Eubank and he did the business and fair play to him. But there isn't many names on that list of his that can truly say these are a world class elite athletes that he's fighting. Because he's got all the skills, he's got all the assets, he's a natural boxer. This dude, he was born to box. He's got all the tools but we just haven't seen it against someone like Canelo. And if he beats him and beats him convincingly, I, I'd be, I, I would be shocked. Not shocked because like I said, he's got the tools to do something like this. There was actually rumors that John Ryder, the dude that lost to Callum Smith a few, I think it was like a year or so ago, was gonna replace Billy Joe Saunders. Not really the fight I was looking for. I don't think John Ryder was, I like John Ryder, but Billy Joe Saunders, in my opinion, is a better fighter than John Ryder. There's people out there that truly believe that someone like Billy Joe Saunders is gonna push Canelo Alvarez to his limits. But for me, someone like Canelo Alvarez, I just think he's the GOAT. I just think he's the guy right now. I don't see anyone handling him other than Triple G, but he's too old now. But I am interested to see what Billy Joe Saunders does bring to the table because like I said, he has all the tools to be an amazing athlete and a boxer in this sport. But Canelo Alvarez, he's got everything. He's got absolutely everything. Perfect head movement, striking, good defense. It's just, there just doesn't seem to be any fault in his game. There's nothing that I've seen anyway. You guys let me know in the comments below if you see anything that you like, he could, he could improve this. But for me, he's the most all round fighter fighting today. There's no one that can touch him, but I respect anyone that steps in a ring with him, especially Billy Joe Saunders. And of course, being from Britain, UK guy, I'd love for him to push Canelo. I'd love it. I just don't see it. I don't think Canelo's gonna knock Billy Joe Saunders out. I think it would go the distance. And if and if it's going the distance, let's be real, let's be real here. If it's going the distance on Cinco de Mayo, you ain't winning that fight unless you danced around Canelo and made him look stupid and got a sombrero out middle of the fight. You ain't beating Canelo on Cinco de Mayo. No chance, no way, no how. But there's no shame in defeat. If Billy Joe Saunders loses that fight, I'm not going to be the type of person that will come on here and be like, oh, he was a hype job. Canelo can make you look like an average boxer. I saw what he did to Daniel Jacobs. Daniel Jacobs is a seasoned veteran in the sport and he made him look average. And the same for Callum Smith. Callum Smith was target practice for Canelo. And Callum Smith hadn't been beaten before that. He makes good fighters look basic. So there's no, there's no love lost for Billy Joe Saunders if he doesn't get the job done. But... A little bit of me, the UK in me, is rooting for him. But what do you guys think? Are you glad that he's decided to make this fight happen? Like I said, I think it was a wasted opportunity if he didn't. So I'm glad that he's back on it. And what, how do you think the fight will go? Is it going to be a KO? Is it going to go to decisions? Let me know in the comments below who you think will win the fight. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you'll be helping me out massively. Take care, guys. Peace.